Okay, so we're going to look at zinc blend. Beautiful structure. It's sure to be one of your favorites. Um, and it well, actually, you know, honestly, though, it, it has some, some fantastic similarities to, to diamond cubic. Okay, diamond cubic. It's got some tetrahedral symmetry in there. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's great. And, and uh, let's sketch it. Let's get it. And it's it's actually quite common. There, there's other the other thing to mention with ceramic structures is we call them zinc blend. We call the or you know we 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 said oh rock salt or NaCl. Well, that doesn't mean that NaCl is the only structure in in all of the universe that has that same arrangement of anions and cations. No, it's just that we named it after kind of the most famous ceramic that has that type of arrangement you know with metals we have fcc has face centered cubic and it doesn't and and you know body centered cubic we have other structures but face centered cubic doesn't it doesn't we didn't say oh it's the aluminum crystal structure we just said fcc to find the positions but you can appreciate that with with a couple of different types of ions it will be a little bit more difficult to describe this structure you could say oh it's the face centered anion octahedral cation structure that's a mouthful so what what uh, people have done what we've done his, uh, just, uh, historically is named it after the most famous ceramic structure that has um, that arrangement of um, of anions and cations so again zinc uh, zinc blend is is the same it's uh, not just zinc and sulfur that has this arrangement there's other important semiconductor devices, say for example, that have the zinc blend crystal structure. And let's look at it. So it's cubic, all right. And so I'm going to draw a cube. And what we usually do is position the anions uh, first. They tend to be bigger. They've is, is accepted an electron, so they're a little bit bigger. And we're going to fire them into these cubic positions first of all. So we got all the eight corners. With a sulfur, uh, uh, sorry, uh, with a sulfur, yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to go and I'm going to make the zinc. I'm going to color code this for you. Um, so we've got uh, sulfur in these uh, corner positions, but then there's also face-centered positions, making this face-centered cubic in, in positioning. Okay, but remember that the anions are not necessarily touching across the face diagonals. Right, that's what they do for face-centered cubic, but this is not face-centered cubic. This is just anions, sulfur, or, uh, let me be more general, and I'll say um, anions, okay, in, I'll call it FCC type, right? That is, their centers reside in an arrangement that you would recognize as being face-centered cu um, cubic, but that they're not necessarily touching uh, each other across the face diagonals. Face FCC type positions. All right, so you know, take your known and build on that with the unknown. And what do you know? Well, you know face center cubic quite well. So we start with that, and then what we need to do is we need to position cations within that structure. Well, the stoichiometry gives us a hint here. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, so we have to populate interstitial sites or position these cations into sites between the anions, such that we've got the same number of cations is anions. If they're FCC positions for anions, we know right away that the number of anions within the unit cell is four. Eight corners times one eighth plus six faces times one half. That's three plus one is four. And the size ratio here, the, the radius of the cation to the radius of the anion, if you looked it up for zinc and sulfur, you'd find that it um, positioned uh, zinc into those tetrahedral interstitial sites. And we've seen those, you know, we can see them in, in it's the same positions that, that uh, carbon atoms in, occupy in diamond cubic. So we've got the front, bottom, uh, left, okay? And then we've got the back, bottom. So if we're just populating the bottom first, they're going to alternate spatially. Uh, and then this is so it's towards the right. Let me dot that in. Okay, and then towards the top, we then have the top. This would be the 
Um, well, actually, let's do it by saying we're in front. Okay, that's towards the front. It's towards the top, and it is again towards the right. But you can see, you compare it to the back, bottom, right. It's alternated. It's staggered, right? And then the other top position is got to be at the back left. So this is the top. Um, correction, I keep doing the wrong order here. So I want to do uh, top, uh, front, back first. So this is the the back. Okay, that's the back. It's the top, uh, but this time it's the left. And so that's the, those are the positions. And again, as I did, as, as we can consider for diamond cubic, if you want to picture those positions, it helps sometimes to visualize the unit cell as being broken down into these eight little subcubes. Okay, so there's our our uh, overall unit cell in all its glory. Oh my goodness, this is okay, those are supposed to be straight lines, but I think you'll get the idea. And if I slice this up, okay, I sliced up front to back, uh, so in the you know, front to back in the plane of the page and horizontally in the horizontal plane, I get eight little subcubes, and then I see, well, I'm going to occupy only half of them, right? Because how many are there's eight? But there's eight subcubes, so there's eight um, of these tetrahedral positions, right? That's what these green little boxes are told us. There's eight tetrahedral sites. But only half, I'll write the word out half, more clear, only half are occupied. So a tep an interstitial site is just a potential space. It doesn't have to have an atom there. And so then which other one is occupied? Well, this one here, back, bottom, right. And then this guy here, they're, they're staggered. So they're staggered. Why are they staggered? They're staggered to, to separate like charges, these cations, maximally in, in space. Right? Maximum spatial separation here by staggering like this. And by only occupying half, you maintain the stoichiometry. That's one to one anion to cation. And so that's the um, zinc bland crystal structure. Okay, there it is. Zinc blend crystal structure, face centered cubic positioning of anions with uh, half of the cations, uh, sorry, with cations in, in tetrahedral sites, uh, only half of them, and they're staggered spatially.